Hi, and welcome to Radford University's online tutorial on how to make iPod Touch flashcards. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Keynote to make a flashcard presentation and how to export that presentation onto your iPod for classroom usage. To get started, you can go ahead and open up Keynote. For easily readable flashcards, go ahead and choose the plain white background. To format your slide, on the toolbar, click Masters. I'm going to choose Title Center for my flashcards. Be sure for each set of flashcards, you follow the pattern using your first slide as your question slide and your second slide as your answer slide. Double click to edit the text box and insert your first question. To insert your answer slide, go to your toolbar again and in the top left hand corner click New. Again, double click to edit your text box and insert the answer to your first question. To insert a second question, again, click New in the top left-hand corner. Double-click to edit your text. And enter your first question, second question. For your answer slide, click New and double-click on your text box to enter your answer. For our third question, I'm going to show you how to import a media file to use in your question. Again, add another slide by clicking New. And to import media, click the Media button on the top right hand side of your screen. Be sure the Photo tab is selected and choose a picture that you have already saved to your computer. This time I will choose the penny picture. Click and drag to add to your presentation. I'm going to add another slide for the answer slide. To review, we have six slides so far with three questions. Two plus two equals four. The first United States President is George Washington, and this coin is a picture of a penny. To add your flashcards to your iPod Touch, you will first need to export them to iPhoto. To do so, choose File and select Export. Be sure the Images tab is selected and click Next. You will need to create a new folder to save your flashcard images. I have already created one on my desktop, but if you need to pause the video to create a new folder now, please feel free to do so. Select your flashcard folder and choose Export. This will send all of your photos to your flashcard folder. You can now minimize Keynote and open iPhoto. We will click the flashcard folder and drag to add to iPhoto. Click and drag. Your images should show up highlighted under Last Import. Under File, create a new album from selection. I'll title this album, Flashcards. And create. 
Your new album should show up in the left-hand pane. Your last step is to sync your iPod with these new photos. You can plug your iPod into your computer and open iTunes. Your device should show up on the left-hand side of the window. Choose your device. Click the Photo tab. Select your flashcard folder that you just created and choose Apply. Your iPod Touch flashcards should now show up under the photo section of your iPod. To open the flashcards on your iPod Touch, first touch the screen to activate and slide to unlock. Click the icon to open the photo app and select the flashcard album. Touch the first flashcard to zoom in. Slide your finger across the screen from right to left to scroll through the cards. To return to the main page, click the Home button. To recap, in this tutorial, you learned how to use Keynote to make an iPod Touch flashcard presentation and how to export those flashcards onto your iPod Touch.